Hello everyone! Kumusta po kayo? Sana po ay nasa maputi kayong kalagayan. Nais ko rin pong batiin ang mga subscribers at viewers po natin na nasa ibang bansa from Canada, United States of America, Singapore, Hong Kong, Dubai at iba pa. Maraming salamat po sa pag-subscribe at pagtangkilig sa channel na ito. I was actually surprised and much elated to learn na a substantial percentage of the views that this channel got are also coming from outside the Philippines. That is why I create this video as a token of appreciation. Isa pa kasi sa mga madalas itanong ng mga kababayan natin na nasa ibang bansa ay kung pwede pa pa silang bumili at magmay-ari ng real property sa Pilipinas kahit na they already acquired a foreign citizenship. Kung kayo po ay Pilipino pa rin hanggang sa ngayon, meaning to say, hindi po kayo nag-renounce ng inyong Philippine citizenship, wala po kayong dapat alalahanin. You are entitled to acquire land in the Philippines maging ito po ay in residential, industrial, commercial, o agricultural. Kung kayo naman po ay dual Filipino citizen, meaning to say, you previously lost your Philippine citizenship pero na-reacquire niyo po ito by taking an oath of allegiance to the Republic of the Philippines under Republic Act 9225, buo na po ulit ang inyong karapatan na mag-acquire ng real property sa Pilipinas. You can acquire a piece of land in the Philippines whether by sale, by donation, or in an auction sale of a tax delinquent property. Pero paano kung kayo po ay naging citizen o national na ng ibang bansa at hindi po kayo dual Filipino citizen o ayaw nyo maging dual Filipino citizen? Legally speaking, kayo po ay foreigner, dayuhan o banyaga. Ano-ano ba ang mga restrictions pagdating sa pagmamayari at pag-acquire ng lupa sa Pilipinas? Dahil kayo po ay foreigner in so far as the Philippines is concerned, nangangahulugan po ito na whatever prohibitions or restrictions that apply to foreigners in general also apply to you, subject to certain qualifications. As a general rule, foreigners are not allowed to own land in the Philippines. Maliban na lang po kung ito ay sa pamamagitan ng hereditary succession, Meaning, kayo po ay legal ear na entitled na magmana sa lupang iniwan ng isang namatay. Hindi po kasali dito yung napamanahan lamang sa pamamagitan ng isang last will and testament. Ang tinutukoy po dito ay intestate succession. Meaning to say, kayo po ay isa sa mga legal ears na entitled magmana in accordance with the law on intestate succession. Pwede rin po mag-acquire ng real property ang mga foreigners by buying a condominium unit in the Philippines. Dahil sa ilalim po ng batas, pinapahintulutan po ang 40% foreign ownership sa mga condominium corporations. Maximum po yung 40% foreign ownership at hindi po pwedeng lumagpas doon. But by buying a condominium unit, hindi po nagiging part owner ng lupang kinatitirikan ng condominium ang foreigner dahil pagmamayari po ito ng condominium corporation. Please take note po na may separate at distinct na legal personality po ang corporation. Foreigners are also allowed to own a house or a building as long as hindi po kasali yung lupa. Ang prohibition naman po kasi so far as the foreigners are concerned ay nag apply doon sa lupa. Kung ang foreigner po ay may asawang Pilipino, maaari naman po silang bumili ng lupa sa Pilipinas ngunit maaari lamang po itong ipangalan sa kanyang asawang Pilipino. And please take note po that a Filipino woman does not automatically lose her Philippine citizenship simply by marrying a foreigner. Maliban na lang po kung nirenounce niyo po yung kanyang Philippine citizenship. Kung kayo naman po ay former natural-born Filipino citizens, kayo po ay may additional rights sa ilalim ng Batas Pambansa Bilang 185 at Republic Act 7042 as amended by RA 8179. Sa ilalim po ng BP-185, kung kayo po ay natural-born citizen of the Philippines who lost your Philippine citizenship, kayo po ay may karapatang mag-acquire ng private land up to a maximum area of 1,000 square meters for urban land o 1 hectare for rural land. Pero ito po ay for residential purposes only. For married couples, pwede pong isa po sa inyo ang mag-avail ng privilege na ito pero if both of you shall avail, hindi po pwedeng lumagpas sa maximum area allowed ang kabuoang acquisition po ninyo. At hanggang 2 lots lang po ang pwede ninyong ma-acquire na situated in different municipalities or cities in the Philippines. 
at ang total land area po ay hindi po dapat lalagpas sa maximum area na allowed ng batas. At kung urban land yung pinili ninyo, dapat parehong urban land at kung rural land naman, dapat parehong rural land. Hindi po pwedeng mix na urban land at rural land. Sa ilalim naman po ng Republic Act 7042, pwede po kayong mag-acquire ng private land up to a maximum of 5,000 square meters kung urban land at 3 hectares naman po kung rural land pero for business purposes naman po ito. Pwede nyo po itong gamitin for any business activity maliban na lang po sa business ng buy and sell ng lupa. At ganun din po ang rules. Kung both spouses po ang mag-avail ng privilege, hindi po pwedeng lumagpas sa maximum area allowed. At pwede pong mag-acquire ng two lots in different cities or municipalities pero hindi po pwedeng maging mixed urban land at rural land. Dapat kung urban land, urban land pareho. Kung rural land, rural lands pareho. So it goes without saying that you don't necessarily lose ownership of the property that you own before you lost your Philippine citizenship. And sana po ay may natutunan po kayo sa video na ito. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, hit that notification bell, like and share. Always remember, ignorance of the law excuses no one from compliance therewith. I will see you in my next video. Ingat po kayo!